Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners, welcome to today's biology lesson. My name is Stephen Kariongi and today we are doing the last part of the introduction to biology, a topic in form one and we shall be comparing between plants and animals. Comparison between plants and animals. So, uh, plants and animals are the living organisms that we study during biology. In this topic, we saw the various branches of biology touching on the plants and the animals. We also uh, studied uh, the animal and the plant specimens and how they are collected and also the precautions that one needs to take, especially when you are collecting injurious specimens. Those are specimens that can cause injuries. So I want us to do a comparison uh, between plants and animals. And we'll present this in form of a table. So, for plants, most of the plants are green in color. And they are green because of the presence of chlorophyll. And that chlorophyll is very, very important during the manufacture of food, what is called photosynthesis. So we are saying that plants most are green in color due to the presence of chlorophyll that allows or that enables them manufacture food. On the other hand, when you're doing a comparison, we should compare point by point that animals lack chlorophyll. And therefore, cannot manufacture food. Cannot manufacture their own food. Hence, rely on plants. They rely on plants for food. So that is one fundamental uh, difference between plants and animals. The other difference is in terms of their movement. Plants move during growth and also when they respond to the various changes in the environment. That movement only happens in particular areas. It doesn't happen in the entire plant. But when it comes to animals, animals are able to move their entire body from one position to another position. So plants move only part of their body. And that is during growth and response to environmental changes.
On the other hand, animals move their entire body. What is called locomotion. Move their entire body from one place to another. Another difference between them is that when plants respond to the environment, they respond slowly. But animals respond very fast to any change that takes place in the environment. So plants respond slowly to changes in the environment. On the other hand, animals respond fast to environmental changes. Now, in terms of uh, in terms of their growth, we have plants and animals. We are doing a comparison. In terms of their growth, plants have growth that is localized in particular areas. In particular areas called meristematic tissues. So in plants, growth is localized, is located within particular areas called meristematic tissues. But for the case of animals, the growth occurs throughout the entire body. So animals have growth occurring throughout their entire, entire body. Um, in terms of how they store food substances, plants store food in form of starch, proteins, and oils. But animals store food in form of glycogen. They also store proteins and fats. So basically, uh, fats are commonly found in animals, while oils are found in plants. Starch is found in plants, 
while glycogen is stored in in animals so what we have uh, done we have had a comparison between plants and animals as we have studied them in the, the introductory topic that most plants are green in color due to the presence of chlorophyll that enables them to manufacture food through photosynthesis animals lack chlorophyll and therefore cannot manufacture their own food and hence rely on plants plants move only part of their body during growth or response to environmental changes but animals move their entire body what we call locomotion from one place to another plants respond slowly to changes in the environment but animals respond fast to environmental changes and d growth in plants is localized in particular areas called meristematic tissues while animals have growth occurring throughout their entire body and finally plants store food plants store food in form of starch proteins and oils while animals store food in form of glycogen proteins and fats so that marks the end of uh, that uh, topic we are going to have a short assignment on the topic so the first question explain how plants display movement or how they show movement number two what is locomotion and number three explain the mode of nutrition in plants so we'll stop there until next time goodbye <music>